I'm Jim Richmond with VG Stoll. We believe that VGs are the single most effective way to reduce your takeoff distance, reduce your landing roll, and enhance your slow speed flight characteristics. I'd like to prove it to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our show. Thanks. You don't need to be a bush pilot to benefit from vortex generators. Every time an airplane is in the air, it's got to land. Every landing you have to deal with wind gusts and various things that come up. And you have to deal with the distance you're going to roll out, the speed at which you're going to touch the ground. You just have more margin of safety when you can touch the ground at a slower speed. Bob DeRoche is the president of Boundary Layer Research. He's flown 8,000 hours as a production flight test pilot. He helped develop the STC kits that we're now selling for the Skywagon and Super Cub. There had been a big uh, brouhaha up in Alaska over Tundra tires. And we'd heard about it and read about it and we just, you know, got a, got a chuckle out of it because we, we were convinced that it wasn't the tires that was causing the problem in the airplane. Well, what we found is that the airplane, under certain conditions of either slipping or skidding, you could physically get the horizontal stabilizer to separate. And once it did, you'd lose your downforce and the airplane would end up on its back, basically. Most of these guys that were running into problems up north, we assumed were below a thousand feet, tree topping it, looking for animals. And what we found when we discovered the anomaly, let's call it, was that if you were sharp, you could get out of it in about 800 feet. If you weren't, usually it was 1,100 to 1,300 feet to recover. So if you're tree topping it below 1,000 feet or 500 feet, the chances are you're not going to get out of it. Here's Steve Tognoli. He owns a Super Cub and a Robertson Stoll 185. Both of these airplanes are equipped with our Vortex generator kits. The biggest danger about Super Cubs, besides people flying them where they shouldn't be flying them, is, is stall spin accidents. The problem is created because pilots don't pay attention to the numbers, you know, when they're flying the airplane. Paul Robertson is a widely respected aerodynamic engineer. Vortex. He's widely considered to be the inventor of the vortex the generators. People are turning down low and they're not paying attention. The airplane starts to come down. One of the natural tendencies is to apply top rudder to bring the nose up so the airplane will go up. We end up with a lot of uh, cross control, a lot of side slip, and the sticks moving aft, the rudders moving more to more top rudder and that position eventually is what if you're trying to do a snap roll that's what you end up with and you end up with an over the top turning flight stall and usually a nose way down usually too low to do anything about it and our goal was to eliminate that which we did by the addition of vortex generators and strakes on the horizontal tail. The whole philosophy behind this is to explore boundary layer and with a vortex generator, all we're doing is re-energizing the boundary layer because the high energy air moving above it, uh, it's free stream, it's going to waste, it's not doing anything. So the philosophy is to mix up that free stream air with the air moving closer to the surface, which is the boundary layer, and it's moving at a slower speed, mix those two up. And that's the whole point of what the vortex generator does. It's a, basically a miniature wingtip in a vertical plane instead of a horizontal plane, and it's generating a vortex. They enhance the ability of the airplane to do what it was designed for. They, they expand your envelope. They give you a better margin of safety. Uh, they, give you, they improve your performance. Well, Cub Crafters has been in the business for 19 years now of improving the low-end performance of Super Cubs. When the Vortex Generators came along, we recognized the uh, additional controllability as well as the lower stall speeds uh, that were achievable. And uh, they marry well with a number of other STCs and modifications. Within the last three or four years, we've worked on enhancing the uh, performance of the Cessna tail draggers as well. Now we're branching into uh, the rest of the Cessna fleet with the Vortex generators. 
Jim Richmond came down here and picked me up in a 185. I was looking at, before I owned this one, I've had 185s before, but I was looking at another one. Jim is probably one of the most knowledgeable guys on, on 185s that, I, that, uh, that I've ever flown with. He really knows where the edges are in the airplane. He knows what the limits are. You get the slower stall speed, better aileron control, uh, shorter takeoff run. significant difference is right at the flare on landing where you have a lot more control um, at the slower speeds. It's just a, a much more comfortable feel as you're looking for the ground. Peter Carpenter is an enthusiastic fan of our VGs. He flies a wonderfully equipped turbocharged Robertson Stoll 185. Well, on short final at 55 or 60 knots with 30 or 40 degrees flaps, <clears throat> my aileron inputs are exactly the same kinds of aileron inputs that I would have without flaps. And, and that's just a dramatic difference. And particularly in gusty wind conditions, the airplane is just much easier to control and much stabler. It's almost impossible to, to stall this airplane um, in any normal flying configuration. On the 185, the, the vortex generators help reduce the stall speed and improve the aileron uh, effectiveness of those speeds. Ones that have the delta wings improve the, uh, uh, improve the rudder effectiveness of those speeds. I would say 80% of the airplanes that leave our shop go out with vortex generators on them. Uh, virtually 100% of the airplanes that we rebuild um, where I have a, a say in what goes on the airplane, we will put vortex generators on it. The improvement in controllability and stall characteristics, uh, safety margin, uh, those kinds of things uh, are drastically improved. Picture this, a vortex generator kit, which remember now has no moving parts. You put it on, you forget about it. It's like a seatbelt. It's like a fire extinguisher. It's always there. You never know when you're going to need it. You don't know going into Joe, your local Sunday afternoon strip if you're going to hit a gust that's going to create an upset of some sort. The vortex generators are going to be there for you. Whether you want to take advantage of them or not, the safety benefit is inherent in the product and it's always going to be there. When we fully uh, take advantage of all the modifications available for a Super Cub, we can extend the ailerons, extend the wings, droop the wing tips, and then put vortex generators on the wing as well. Um, that combination allows us to slow that airplane down to a 30 mile an hour approach speed, measured on the GPS, not on the airspeed indicator. That's a reduction of 13 miles an hour from the published stall speed. After someone has flown it, they almost always notice the improved aileron response, and the airplane is easier to fly at a lower airspeed. When I put the VG kit on my 185, I immediately noticed more aileron control at slow speeds. As you can see here, even at 45 knots, I'm getting a very rapid roll rate to 45 degrees of bank. When landing, you've got to be able to control the airplane in gusty conditions. What you're seeing is a demonstration of this slow speed controllability. When I saw that they'd finally been STC'd for the 185, I immediately called and said, I want to get some. I got them originally because I thought it would give me the ability to even further reduce my landing speed. And much to my amazement, uh, while that was true, the real payoff was much better controllability at slow speeds. And I've flown with a Robertson stole kit before. I've flown turbine beavers. I used to own a turbine beaver. I mean, I know what, what stole airplanes are capable of doing. And this is probably the best bang for the buck that you're gonna get. 
the best thing you can do to 185. It doesn't hurt your top end, and it makes the airplane much different down at the bottom end, which is where you use a 185. Hi, Bubba with you, long line intro. At Cub Crafters, we've always uh, looked at products available to us and decided that we will build the best airplane possible, um, irregardless of the cost. Last year, we sold more BG kits than Boundary Layer Research did, who owns the STC. When they decided to market that STC, we were the logical ones to take their place. We chose the BLR kit because it did a better job on takeoff and landing and enhanced the roll control and the aileron authority on landing. We could have put either kit on. We were a dealer for both. We recognized the superior product. It was the second generation. They took advantage of uh, additional information and uh, testing and came out with a better product. Basically, the installation of the VGs is very simple. The measurements are given in each individual STC as far as the distance forward from the trailing edge of the wing. That distance is marked and a line is stretched from the center of the airplane to the wingtip. Then the stations are marked from the center of the airplane to the center of each of the masks that come pre-punched and ready to lay out on the wing. Once the masks are put in place, um, the rectangular cutouts are lightly sanded in preparation for the VGs to be installed. Once glue is spread on the VG and the activator is sprayed on the rectangular cutout, the VGs are placed over the cutouts one at a time. After 20 minutes of drying time, the templates can be removed and you're all done. Over the last five years, we've sold and installed hundreds of Vortex generator kits, and we've yet to hear a single negative comment. Some customers think that uh, the Vortex generators are just another uh, trick, uh, smoke and mirrors. Um, some people think there's nothing to them, but I challenge you to sit down on the next airliner that you uh, go for a flight in and look out the window and count the vortex generators on the wing of that Boeing airplane. If it were smoke and mirrors, they wouldn't be there. They work. There's a definite reason they're there. Well, there you have it. Vortex generators are a new technology whose performance speaks for itself.
Order yours today by calling us or online.